A week ago former Pittsburgh Steelers safety and current ESPN commentator Ryan Clark was calling out Steelers head coach Mike Tomlin for his team's lack of fight during a 38-3 beatdown at the hands of the Buffalo Bills. On Sunday October 16, shortly after the Steelers vanquished Tom Brady in the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at Accretion Stadium, he was singing a different tune. I took Mike Tomlin to task last week for the Steelers not fighting. With stars hurt they fought like hell to win. Confident, physical, and dialed in all day. Began Clark, making reference to how Pittsburgh played without all pro safety Minka Fitzpatrick and its three best cornerbacks, as well as a number of other key players. If you screamed for his job last week make sure you scream how great of a coach he is today. A shout out to Steelers captain Cam Hayward. Ryan Clark also took a moment to salute Steelers defensive lineman Cameron Hayward for leading by example. He didn't just talk about being better, he didn't just talk about being better. Indeed Hayward stood out against the Buccaneers, recording three tackles, including a tackle for loss, a sack and a pair of quarterback hits. But he knows the Steelers are still a long way from where they want to be. We've got work to do, said the defensive captain, during his post-game press conference. Cam Hayward says the defense still has work to do, but says they applied pressure and stopped the run. Ryan Clark, Kenny Pickett, adds juice to the offense. Last but not least, Clark also liked what he saw from Steelers starting quarterback Kenny Pickett, saying that Kenny two mittens just adds so much juice to the offense. At least he did early in the contest, well before Buccaneers linebacker Devin White knocked him out of the game with a concussion. Yet by virtue of having started the game, Pickett gets credit for the win over Brady, snapping Tom Brady's streak of 12 straight wins against rookie quarterbacks. This according to Brooke Pryor of ESPN, via Elias Sports Bureau. That's a streak that dates back to 2013. Moreover, only six rookie quarterbacks have ever bested Brady, with the first being Ben Roethlisberger, who accomplished the feat in 2004. All that said, the last place Steelers, 2-4, are just one game out of the lead in the AFC North, as the 3-3 Baltimore Ravens and 3-3 Cincinnati Bengals both lost on Sunday, with Baltimore falling to the New York Giants and Cincinnati losing to the 2-4 New Orleans Saints. The schedule doesn't get any easier in the next two weeks, however. After a date against the Miami Dolphins, 3-3, on Sunday night football, the Steelers will play yet another road game, at the undefeated Philadelphia Eagles, 6-0, who will be coming off a bye. Of course, if Pickett isn't ready to return at Miami, the Steelers will turn back to quarterback Mitch Trubisky, who closed out the game by going 9 or 12 for 144 yards with a touchdown to wide receiver Chase Claypool, good for a passer rating of 142.4.